Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Kangaroo Math. I am here today with three more questions. They are today, again, on the more challenging side as the ones from yesterday. So I hope you guys enjoy, and I'll just jump right into it. But before I do, you guys already know, check the link down below for the questions. It'll be there. You guys can get the questions and do them yourself. You guys can pause the video whenever you want, just so you guys, you know, can think about it, so you guys can try to do it yourselves a bit, and just have some fun. That's what I'm here for, to make you guys have some fun. All right, question number one. A fly has six legs, right? So we'll say F is a fly, and it has six legs. A spider has eight legs, right? So a spider has eight legs. Therefore, three flies and two spiders together have the same amount of legs as nine chickens. So for chickens, I'll write C and something else. And we're gonna solve for that something else. So let's break this down more. Three flies and two spiders, right? Together, what do you mean by together? Well, that means they are added, right? So we'll add them, three plus two, right? And then it says that they have the same amount, same amount equal to. So that's equal to this plus the answer. So this is what the answer is going to be. The answer is going to go on that line. So now, we know one fly has six legs, right? And this is three flies. Right? It's fly plus fly plus fly. So that means, in other words, it's just six plus six plus six, right? Because one fly has six legs. And six plus six plus six is 18. So that is 18 legs, right? Now let's break down the spiders. So this is spider plus spider, which is, since they have eight legs, eight plus eight. What's eight plus eight? 16. So, so far we have eight plus 16 is equal to nine C plus this. Now let's break down the nine C. First of all, how many legs do chickens have? Well, one chicken has two legs, right? Now we have nine of those chickens. We have nine of them. So how do we do that? Well, let's count by twos nine times, right? Because look, I can count by threes three times here. Three plus three plus three, right? So let's do that. Two plus 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 two. And if you guys were counting and adding, that would be 18. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. And that's nine of them. So that's equal to 18 plus that. Now, wait a second. Look what we have here. We have 18 and we have 18. Can we get rid of those 18s? Well, we can, and I'll show you how. So we do that by subtracting. So we'll have 18 plus 16 is equal to 18 plus the answer, right? So let's subtract 18. We took 18 away from both sides, right? What's 18 minus 18? Zero. What's 18 minus 18? Zero. So now we have 16 is equal to that number, right? Now, that number is in cats. How many legs do cats have? Well, one cat is equal to four legs. So how many cats do we need to make 16? Well, let's see. Four, eight, 12, 16. So we need four cats to make 16. So four cats is equal to 16. And 16 is equal to 16. So that's the answer. 16. Four cats. C is what we should be getting. All right. That was a pretty fast one. It was a good one, though. I know I love those type of questions. The type of questions where you have to, you know, you have to solve for the unknown. Those are so much fun. All right. Next one. This one's a bit trickier. And I'll read it for you guys. Again, the questions are down below. And you can press the link and get them and do them with me. So, Tom strings together the numbers from 1 to 20. And what that means is he puts them next to each other. So it's like this. One, two. I'll actually do it so I have more space. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. That is one long number, right? And that's 31 digits. However, 
he deletes 24 of them. So he gets rid of 24. And what do we know when we say get rid of or delete? That means we subtract, so we subtract this. And 31 minus 24 is seven. So we have seven digits total. The number that has to be, the answer has to be seven digits, right? So let's see, let's look at the answer choices first. All of them are seven digits and all of them start with nine. So because every answer starts with nine, we know that the first number has to be nine. So let's get rid of numbers until we hit nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we get eight, rid of eight numbers right there. So here were eight digits. So there we'll just keep count of how many we got rid of, right? Then let's see what the next number in every answer choice is. We have six, five, seven, nine, and eight. So we want the biggest number, right? So what's the biggest number there? Six, five, seven, nine, or eight. Well, nine is the biggest number, right? So let's try nine. Let's see if we can get to that second nine, right? So we want seven digits. We know the first one's nine, and let's try to get nine as the second one. So we'll have to get rid of digits, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. We get rid of 19 digits there. And we finally hit the nine. All right, so all the numbers we have left are nine, two, and zero. Let's put them in. Uh-oh, that's only four digits. That's not good, we need seven. And also look, we used 27 digits. We already got rid of 27 digits. We're only allowed to get rid of 24. So we know that we can't have nine as the second number. Otherwise, we get rid of too many digits. So what number is the next biggest after nine? Well, that's eight, right? So we know it's not the nine, nine. So let's try eight. Let's put eight here. How many numbers do we have to get rid of to get the eight? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, right? So we need to get rid of 17 digits there. And we hit eight. So let's put eight there. And how many digits are left? Eight, one, nine, two, zero. Those are the only numbers left, right? So let's put them in. One, nine, two, zero. Uh-oh. We're missing a digit. Dang it, we were so close. So we know it can't be eight because we have two little digits. So let's try, we're so close, so let's see if seven works, right? So nine, seven, right? So let's see how many digits we have to get rid of until we get to seven. One, two, three, four, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and we get to seven, right? So let's put the seven in. And what's after the seven? One, eight, nine, two, zero. Let's put those in here and see what happens. One, eight, nine, two, Zero, perfect, it fits. All right, does the answer choice say that? The answer choice says nine, seven, eight, one, nine, two, zero. Oh, sorry, I, mi I mixed these two up. Perfect, we got it, let's go. That's what I like to see. All right, so that looks like what it is. And look at that, it's the biggest number, C. But wait a second, does that make sense? If we go back and see, it was 7181. No, so there has to be a one here. That's not good. We were so close. Let's think about how many numbers we got rid of then, right? So we got rid of eight digits here, right? In the first part, we got rid of eight digits. And then here, if you guys remembered me counting, we got rid of 15 digits. Okay, so how many digits did we get rid of all together? Well, 15 plus eight is 23. So we got rid of 23 digits. But the question says he gets rid of 24. So we can still get rid of one more digit, right? Because 23 plus one is 24. So let's get rid of this one. There we go. We fit all of them. So now we get rid of one. So that's 24 digits we got rid of. We fit every single part, right? He deletes 24 digits. Perfect. He wants the biggest number. It's bigger than these two options. Perfect. And it's seven digits. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh my goodness, we got it. Okay.
So the answer is C. Oh my God, we're killing it today. I'm feeling it. That was a good question. You see, they tried to get us, but we're too good for them. We're too good. The question can't trick us. You always got to read the question. You always got to keep going. All right. Now we make our way to the final question. This one I love. This is one of my favorite questions. It's so much fun to do. And I hope you guys have just as much fun. So each one of the five keys locks exactly one padlock. Every letter on a padlock stands for exactly one digit. Same letter means the same digit. So that means that if A is equal to two, if I have a word that's like a cat, that A is equal to two. If I have a word that is, uh, what's another word, rat? That A is also equal to two. It's always gonna be, each letter is equal to the same, right? So let's write out what we have. We have dad, B, H, D, A, B, D, A, H, D, and H, A, B. Now let's see what numbers we have. Four, one, four, eight, one, two, one, two, four, one, eight, four, and the mystery number, the one we're trying to solve. Now let's look at what we have. Let's start from the beginning, right? Let's look at the first letter. Well, let's see if we have any letters that repeat, right? So D, does it repeat? No. B? No, I only see it once. A? Bang. We see it twice. Let's see if there's any numbers that repeat here now. Four? Only once. Eight? Only once again, but one. Twice. So what does that mean? That means that A corresponds, that these two correspond to that. So A is equal to one. Now, we don't know which one's which. We have no idea if this one's this one or if this one's that one. So that means that right now we have to try to solve for one of the other letters. So let's just plug in A everywhere we got it, right? So we have one here, we have one here. All right, and now let's see. We have two codes that have ones in the middle. Do we have two numbers that have ones in the middle? Yeah, we do, 414 and 812. Well, how do we know which one's which? Look at this, D and D. Those are the same number. So let's see, do any of these two have the same number at the beginning and the end? This one does, four and four. So that means that D is equal to four. And we know that this padlock is equal to 414, and so we got that out of the way. Now, let's plug in D as 4 to all of our different um, ones so far. All right, so we got 4 everywhere now. And let's see, well, that doesn't help us with these two yet, right? Because we have 124 and 184, so we're still stuck there. Hmm, let's see. Well, we know that this number, H1B, has one in the middle, so that means this H1B has to be 812. So that means H is equal to eight, and B is equal to two. Now we know that H is eight, so we'll put an eight here. We know that B is two, so we'll put an two there. We know that B is two, A is one, one, Eight. All right. So I put this one already with one. One eight four. One eight four. Perfect. We can get rid of those. One two four. One two four. We can get rid of those. Four one four. D A D. Perfect. All we're left with now is the question mark and two eight four. That's all we're left with. This two eight four and this question mark. So what does that mean? That means the question mark is 284. And which answer choice is 284? C. Well, we got through all of them. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys have any questions or comments, my email is down below with the questions so you can email me anything. If you want extra work, feel free to email me. And I hope you guys enjoy your day. Thanks for tuning in again. And remember to subscribe.